look at the second example. I have sine of x plus the square root of 2 equals negative sine x. So in order to solve an equation like this, we're going to need to set one side equal to 0. And you know you did that a lot in Algebra 2 when it came to factoring. So we're going to move that sign over here. So I'm going to have sine x plus sine x plus the square root of 2 equals 0. So I'm going to put these two like terms together and get 2 sine x plus the square root of 2 equals 0. Now that I have just one trig function, just the sine x here, I'm ready to start solving. So I'm going to move the square root of 2 to the other side and divide both sides by 2. So now I'm trying to think of all the places on the unit circle where sine equals negative square root of 2 over 2. And we know that square root of 2 over 2 happens at the pi over 4. But that's positive. So we're really wanting the ones down here and the one down here because that's where it would be negative square root of 2 over 2. So if this is pi over 4, that would be 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4. And this would be 6 pi over 4, so that would be 7 pi over 4. And if it was in terms of degrees, this is 45 degrees, so that would be 225. And this one would be 360 subtract 45, so it would be at 315. Those are the places that would make this a true statement.